really gonna do that? I mean, the school won't let her do that. She's a mute. She never talks to anyone. Yeah, but Julia is like bold and sexy and beautiful. And Serena's like a quiet little mouse. You're scared of the mouse. Is some people belong in the spotlight and some people are meant to live in the background. Wait, is this her first butt? That is not the kind of experience we're talking about. <laughs> to the yeah, AFI Conservatory the for their presentation of Juliet. Um, at first it just seemed to feature a lot of backstage claptrap, which we're all very familiar with. Um, but I very much appreciate the distorted expressions of Serena as well as James. Um, it was an exceptional, a, an exceptional premise that serves as an unusual twist in John Madden's own premise behind Shakespeare in Love. Uh, offering a gleaming moment of sincerity that should have lived forever in Serena's memory. And it was exquisitely, exquisitely captured in cinematography in that moment of, uh, that moment of uh, Reese Alexander in the dress. Great performance by Alexander on that. Also great performance by Mark Hills as the sexually confused James. Um, alas, like so many other stories about teenage homosexuality, um, discovery, this one ends in ridicule, um, <clears throat> but you, we really, the pervading themes seem to be bravery, and Reese Alexander perfectly captured the bravery that Serena managed to be in the face of being ostracized and almost literally tarred and feathered that that Serena was capable of coming forth and probably landing the perfect audition. Wow, was there some smart filmmaking going on here. I really thought the way they would contrast between moments or scenes that were uh, go from you know quiet and small to big and loud or any combination of those things, I thought that was just really smartly done and really effective um, at sort of trying to evoke whatever emotion was in the moment. Um, they were really good with, with the camera on this one at um, sort of putting us in the scene and making us feel something. It was a lot of motivated camera movement in that regard um, and it's just really smartly done. In the very beginning it was very intense when the main character wants to put on lipstick but um, decides against it. I knew from there that the film would be very it would be a film that would like tug on my heartstrings and like evoke so much emotion for me and it was nothing short of that because it did exactly that um the a really heartbreaking scene was when all the bullying was occurring um like it was real and i think that's what makes it even more heartbreaking um it's also heartbreaking when you know she is in her dress and she's about to um, audition and then you know like it's it was like such as it was like such a sense of betrayal because I this is definitely someone that she had thought she could trust and then it was the same person who wound up hurting her the most but the ending was very powerful and strong because she still got on stage and I can only assume it was to finish her audition which is what I I think is what it was and that was super powerful. So yeah, I really enjoyed this film. I thought the sets were fantastic and the art design and they just did such a great job in creating this environment for this piece to live. Thought it was so well written and thought the characters really did a great job with their choices and their depth. In particular, the Serena character just was, there were so many layers there and it was so subtle and honest and beautiful to watch. I mean, I think this was just such a beautiful film all together with so many strong messages and the internal struggles of the character were so visible and so palpable and just really enjoyed this piece and thought the filmmaker did a terrific job in telling the story. It was really neat and the distortion I think is perfect for capturing the dysphoria um, that youth feel when you know they spend uh, high school as an outsider and uh, definitely this introduction to Serena's character uh, led me to believe definitely she's 
you know, considered an outsider anyways, not that she is. Um, I love how she's practicing her bits in the shadows, how much she really wants the part. You can feel her anxiety, you can feel the tension, you can feel, you know, her desires. And um, that part where James comes in and actually encourages her to uh, go out for the role, um, they share a sweet kiss. And um, the way he treats her later, just between that and the bullying, um, I definitely appreciated the scene where she is has paint all over her dress and she, uh, you know, she takes the paint from the dress and spears it on her lips. Uh, gave me a very uh, war paint kind of feeling. Um, I like the way that the camera captures sunspots and the lighting is really soft when uh, Serena is uh, twirling with the dress and imagining imagining herself as Juliet. Um, yeah, overall, uh, a really good twist on a coming-of-age story. Um, you know, being very ballsy and as a shy girl and just having the courage to try anyways. Just try. Similar to the idea of having to hide one's identity from the world, I thought it was really a lovely choice to have our lead character. Serena lurking in the shadows at the beginning. So you get this this distorted view, this distorted mirror beside her. And uh, through the veil, you can see her staring at what a group of very um, typical, indiscernible group of females that encapture that classic femininity with their frothy pink clothes and the abundance of makeup. Um which is a very cool balance between the two. The anxiety through the piece was so palpable. The the twisting shots in the character's point of view, the deep breathing uh, soundtrack behind us, the, the swarm of unfriendly faces that, that pop in and seem to just taunt, which made the scene between the potential Juliet and Romeo so much more striking. It was quiet, it was intimate, it was lovely, because you're still seeing each other through the veil, and finally Romeo's peeking in. That also added to the stakes of the final moments, uh, being that much more heartbreaking and um, emotionally driven. Overall, I thought it was a really important piece, really well thought out, excellent casting, and um, yeah, I was I was kind of blown away. Just Wow. I mean, what a moving short film about the trans experience. And as someone who has been involved in theater, both in high school and post, I could say that, you know, while thankfully I never saw such bigotry occur in, in my experiences in theater, it is absolutely believable to conceive a situation like this occurring. Because unfortunately, bigotry and intolerance is everywhere, even in these spaces that we would think are so safe and inclusive. The acting is great. It's understated. It's not overwrought, uh, including from the protagonist, but also the bullies. It's it's shown in, in this these little stabs in the back rather than these overt, you know, uh, punctures. Uh, of course, though, it does build and escalate to her being physically assaulted. Um, so we see a rise in tension through that. There's an emphasis of whispers throughout it, which I thought was incredibly interesting and really spoke a uh, truth to the theater experience, how so much of the conversations occur in these hushed whispers. And they carry actually more dramatic weight uh, that way than if they were done in just a normal tone of voice. It's a really moving, and it's ultimately, I think, a positive message because we see perseverance, we see thriving and survival despite opposition and obstacles. And that's what we want to see from heroines, especially heroines like the one that we get in this film. Phenomenal job. 